Our first convention coming up January 15th over in Deland. We'll have that information in the description. So we've been trying to like get everything together, all of our boxes, as well as just kind of get our comic den area together over here. Right now I'm listing some slabs for a whatnot stream that we're having a little bit later today. So I got Werewolf by Night 33 and a 5 -0. Got a cool Keith variant on Venom number two and a 9-6. Everything's pretty much alphabetized. We have lots of stuff we're gonna be listing and selling over the next couple months. This is a new little project of mine. I'm gonna put all raw books over here. You wanna show me your Pokemon cards? Oh, let me show you my Pokemon cards. <laughs> so this was the first ever Pokemon pack I've ever opened. Angela hasn't opened one in a long time. And we've probably had this Astral Radiance pack for like a year now, just sitting in the closet. It was sealed. We bought it from Lee's over at Living Dead Comics. And we've just had it for a long time. We kind of thought maybe we'd do like a Pokemon stream. But then last night on Christmas, Angela was like, let's just open it. Before we started unboxing the pack, I was like, okay, well, let's look up and see what the most expensive ones are. So I found a website that showed the Astral Radiance pack and the top 10 most expensive ones. So I knew what to look out for. We like flipped one of the foils over and it was really cool. I think it was one of the full art like trainer cards. And the angel was like, oh, you forgot one, flip that one over. And that one was crazy. The ultra rare from this pack. And we actually got it, which was crazy because that was our first time ever unboxing a Pokemon set. So it was really exciting. Let us know if you want us to do like YouTube Pokemon streams or maybe some whatnot streams too, but it was definitely a really fun time, cool experience. All right, I'm gonna list all the ultimate Spider-Mans, even though Angela probably wants to keep them all. But this one's really cool. This one has the Miles custom label in a 9.6. This one is sick. Probably the best one. <laughs> this one is the 9.6 newsstand. So Angelo really wants to keep this one. We have it for 4K, but I don't think I'm gonna list this one. We're probably just gonna hold it for a bit. Just went live. We just finished the stream. We have our box. Over there, <laughs> our box is over there with the stuff that we sold. We sold some slabs, but I'm bundled back up. We're going out into the wilderness, <laughs> out into the cold. It's like 20 degrees out there right now. We're gonna head over to Living Dead Comics. Go check out Lee's shop and see what's been going on there since we haven't been there in a little bit. We might even buy a Pokemon pack because we had a lot of fun with that last night. So we'll see what other Pokemon packs he has and maybe we'll get another one, who knows? Give you a look at what we sold before we head out of here. Two slabs that sold, Spider-Man Noir number two and a 9-6. And then the iconic Hulk cover on Fantastic Four 112 in a 5.5. Five. There's a lot of different things, some lenticulars, venom, but it's always cool seeing what everybody picks up. Just wanted to do a little after Christmas sale, hang out with everyone for a few hours, just see how everyone's holiday was. And just have a good time, have a few signatures in here. But we're gonna go ahead and get in the car, head over to Lee's, grab some lunch, and we'll take you along the way. <laughs> Living Dead Comics, we're over here, but let's show you guys, we did a little bit of a detour. We saw a card shop, and you know we were looking for some Pokemon, because we were on a little little Pokemon streak, so we got the Evolving Skies set, and apparently there's one card in here, well, not in here, but in the set, that could be $600. So I told Angela, let's splurge, let's do it. So we'll be opening these up probably tonight, really excited. All right, let's go in. What is going on, Lee? Just hanging out, pricing some books. Oh, those are cool. Where'd you get those from? These are the one and 250 variants. Oh, they had over 250 copies and they gave you a signed one. This is some, I got some new stuff in here. A lot of my X-Men collection that I had sent off came back. Oh, nice. Yeah, there's some other oh, books. That's cool. yeah, a Megacon. You're still doing the um, yeah, half the off? back issues? Yes. Back issues? Well, um, the the uh, the newer overstock. I got a whole box of half off Vampirella. Oh, let me go. <laughs> I mean, it's all the dynamite stuff. Oh, yeah. I yeah. mean, they have tons. There's so many yeah. different covers. We found some Conan. That's yeah. The final issue. The final issue. Oh, that's Very cool. solid copy, too, for 25 bucks. That's how uh, Gotham City Sirens number one. That's a hot uh, that whole series is hot covers. Yeah. It's like, I mean, because it's Catwoman, Poison Ivy, and Harley Quinn. Yeah, how do you know? I think that's the first Sirens, though. Like the yeah, first. Gotham City Sirens? I thought that was in a detective. Nice Vampirilla box in front of you there. Oh, look at that Perillo cover. Oh, those are sick. These are half off cover price? Yeah. yeah. Two bucks a piece. Got a big old stack here. That's only four. That ain't that big. That's eight dollars. Yeah. yeah only down. eight bucks only for all $8. these books. Had to get the holiday special even though yesterday was Christmas, but that's okay. Pretty much picked up, I think, every Perillo cover that I found because he just kills it on Vampirella. Those are those cool, like, Edge of Spider-Verse. Oh, yeah, those are cool. Oh, that's oh, a that's great cool. one, Archer. Is that a Momoko? Look at that. Two, and then this is the variant on two. Oh, that's cool. Gotta get that. Yeah, get those two. Which one would you choose right there between the Thundercats and the Transformers? Oh, and then you got the Predator. That's a hard choice. Predator, Transformers, or Thundercats? One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14, 15. Finish looking through here and then um, maybe go through with the box of keys he has real quick and see if there's any new keys that came in or anything. Oh, that's cool. With Dr. Doom. I'll grab that one. Oh, whoa, look at those. That was really cool. Bro, look at the venom. That's what I was saying. There's some cool venom in there. Oh, here's the variant mm -hmm. on three. How did your sale go? Good. It went good. At the house, stock yeah. Was it? Good. yeah. Yeah, it went good. Go We're going to do another one probably like at the end of February. <laughs> everything goes according to plan. <laughs> yeah, if we can get cool. everything together. Have you seen a Wonder Woman one? No. I've never seen Sarah's one. Sarah's a big Wonder Woman fan. How much is a Wonder Woman one these days? 20 to 100,000. I mean, like 1.5, 1.8. You know, 1.0 to 2.0 would be like 15 Gs, 16. I think mine is at least a 5.0. No. Oh yeah, it's nice. Or higher. I run the risk of cleaning and pressing it, but I just want to leave it alone. It's lived, it's, it survived this right. long, you know? If you're going to get pressed and cleaned yeah. and graded, you're probably looking at $5,000. Oh, you got to bring that in. That would be awesome at the shop. Wow. Yeah, I'll never have one of those. There's no better investment that I know of on the planet Earth than key issue comics. And they also say, are, is there any value in new books? I know there are, because books in the, in the 80s and 90s, not all of them, but some will will resonate. You know, first issues, uh, first appearances, costume changes are all keys. The comic book industry is phenomenal. It's worldwide. A lot of books are leaving the United States and go overseas, probably never to return. These variants are sick. I love these Batman covers. The variant covers. I mean, that is sick. So Megacon's your next show you're doing. Yes, half my booth was uh, Living Dead dolls and high-end figures. Oh, this that thing, is this cool. This Supergirl is beautiful. The, the, the plastic cocoon they're in does not do these things justice. They need to be out and displayed. I've had these a hot minute. These, uh... The Hawkman. Oh, me? yeah. How much do those cost? Are those like a collector set? Uh, this one's 175 Not quite hot toy level, but I like them better. Let me see. This one's really cool. But you can't, you can't really see it. It's tough to see. So I say you got to get them out of the plastic cocoon. Digging away. We have a huge stack of books over here. Weird War number one. Is that number one? Wait, yeah, yeah, that's an awesome cover. Wait a second. Number one. I'm a, I'm that's sick. I'm strangely attracted to that book for some reason. Oh, Great nice. I love those old DC books. This is what he gave us in uh, Vegas. Diamond Retailer Summit. He was there signing them for free. Silver oh, that's Surfer 2? Great Silver Surfer. Clean copy. Right? Yeah, that's one of the cleanest that's ones nice. I've seen. Wow. Oh, that's your really, copy looks a lot nicer than ours. That's a really nice <laughs> copy. Funny wow. story about that. There's two books in here. I was like, I want to get a Tomb of Dracula sign. And he brings my copy, or our copy from home, oh, that's funny. which is like near mint. It's like, no, no, no. I had a whole beer one that's in here. Oh, and it's like, get, get that one. Oh, man. Have a sign that one. We're only leave the near mint copy alone. Oh, I'll leave that. That's uh, from like the first Orlando Con. Oh, wow. Oh, that's wow. That's awesome. 1979 Orlando Con. Oh, Ooh. the turtles. The turtles. These aren't first prints. I think they're second yeah. or third. Turtles are still hard to find. It's super hot. Yeah. Super, super hot. Yeah, everybody's always looking for it, the Raphael. These that are cover, so good. That really, that, that cover is really cool. You read the cover and it's 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 a crazy story. Those are like the one in 50 or one in 100. Yeah. And then when Jay Lee was at Infinity, I had mm -hmm. them signed and graded. It cost me a lot of money, that whole process. Mm. <laughs> as soon as they realize you're getting it graded, they want $50, they want $50 oh, to sign really? it. Yeah. I was like, oh, it's just for the PC. Yeah, right? <laughs> I did get two sets done. I sold my 9-8 set, but I kept the lower grades. That's how, that's how you do it. You sell the 9-8s, you keep the 9-6s. Tuma Dracula, yep, yep, yep. That's, that's, that was the beater copy. That's the meal out. Yeah, yeah. When I was at the Florida Mall, Mike's from Mike's uh -huh. Comics when he has Atlanta Toy and Comic Con mm -hmm. at the Florida Mall. Neil Adams was there. It was really cool. I love this. Sometimes oh, this is cool. I don't, I don't, you know, go in on variants that often, but sometimes you love a series That's so much, cool. you got to get the coolest cover from it. If you haven't read Rick and Morty Dungeons and Dragons, the first series of four mm -hmm. is a laugh a minute. Nice. One of these days, I'll get me some nice clean stuff like that. <laughs> My golden age <laughs> isn't that days. clean. <laughs> Ours is a little messy. A lot of times, it very rarely yeah. is. That's another thing I've been trying to look for is some golden age Batman and Detectives. Those are also pretty expensive. Golden age superhero stuff, pretty expensive. So I steer towards like off stuff, cartoon stuff, westerns, Native American stuff, historical stuff. Gonna add another one to the PC I think maybe. So, yeah. It's hard to find them, so. Well, that's the thing. It's like, I can never find them, or when I do, they're like crazy expensive. It's cool. Yeah, that's a cool one. It's like Godzilla. And I got a six out. Yeah, that one's nice. Second appearance of Morbius. Oh, yeah, we're 50 doing... bucks. Uh, second Punisher. Yep. On 135. Should be wall books. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, right? Nice. This is another little key right here. That's a Stranko. That's pretty iconic. I, yeah. yeah. I went through a big Stranko phase, like, 
15 years ago. I was like, I have to have every cover he's done. Doctor Strange, these yeah, are great covers. Graded. Super nice copies, too. The Eternity cover on 180. I have a lot of these. This one actually got graded. Oh yeah, we did. I love. I bought those off a, off a person. I love the description on the back. I left it on there and the pricing. Oh yeah. Ooh, Ooh and then the Daredevil. Strange. Oh, this oh, is God, what I need go. right here. I actually just bought one of these too. Oh yeah, number four. You did. Just yeah, he's one. got two fifty on his. What do you need left? Just three, That's two, and purple, one, right? Man. I need this right here. Oh, I need number that. three. Oh, the owl. I need this one. It's a solid copy that too. That is a nice copy. Oh man. Uh oh. That's not good. I'm not going to be able to buy it. I didn't know he had one. I know, and you need one. I've been looking for one. I mean, I'm not saying anything. Maybe I'll give Lee a call up tomorrow or something when you're not here. Do you want an early birthday gift? You're being too nice now. Yeah, I'm going to buy it separately. Yeah. Then I don't have to buy a birthday <laughs> gift. <laughs> She's being too nice. Okay. She's being way too Let's nice. Something's up. That is a nice copy. That's a nice book. Yeah, I got like a 3.5. Just all these, you know, big hash yeah, marks through the cover. Some circles, it might be a 4. Man, I, I don't just know. once you start getting creases through the majority of the cover, I don't like to hit a. It's not a four. A four I can't believe Sarah's gonna wants to get this for mm. my birthday. I'm kind of shocked. What else am I gonna get? Your socks? Don't damage. Wow! First appearance of the owl. You'll buy dinner though, because I'm hungry. <laughs> so you have to buy dinner. Seventy nine, eighty eight, one seventy nine, forty five. It's like a half a short box of stuff. Yeah, that shows not to be missed. We're, We're gonna be there. there, setting up. We'll have a booth. Thank you right, so thank much. You guys. you guys have a great day. Yes, thank you for coming one. in. Good have a happy you. New Year. You, you too. too. I'll see you in the land. Got the goods. Got the goods. Got the goods. <laughs> Look what we got. And you probably like that a little bit more than <laughs> what I would have got you. So. And we got a short box of goods. Whole bunch of comics, only 170 bucks, and everything is a variant. Pretty sick. Awesome personal collection additions that we're gonna be adding to the collection. So Angelo got him his issue number three for his birthday next month, and then had to give myself a nice Wonder Woman. But we're gonna go ahead and go grab some dinner, and then we'll head home, and we'll see you when we get back there. All right, there it goes. We're working on filling up our wall over here, so. We got issue three now, and we got number four. Look at that. We hope you all enjoyed seeing our little day in the life vlog here. Hope everyone had a great holiday break, and we'll see you in the next video.